Sao đưa sạ Sao đưa sạ Đi wrestling You're very baby. Look at that smug. Very smug. Yeah, as far as monkeys go, Earthbound monkeys go monkey. Totoro Tummy. Totoro Tummy. Oh my goodness. I, got, I gotta leave just enough blanket for them to play with but not cover things up. Fucking goofy. Hell yeah. So, as anyone who was here last time will remember, I am this beleaguered monkey. My girlfriend is has been kidnapped by the evils, and so I have to help this guy pretend to be like a monkey performer man. So I also got a running bomb. Also, my name is Sadusa, which is extremely good. Yeah, I need to figure out something to do so I can stream as just catting sometime. Be wrestling. I'm still like, I have mixed feelings about Facade specifically as a name. Cause like on one hand, you know, it's like a fake Arab name, but on the other hand, it's, it's a pretty good pun. It's pretty... <laughs> Shit. Also, yeah, he is carrying our party. He won. Look at these fucking little guys. Where is bracelet? Oh. I can equip bracelet. Oh, and flea charm. <laughs> He's a little bat. Uh-oh. This appears to be a coyote with a cactus on his head. <laughs> Listen, monkey. That's a cactus wolf, the meanest thing in the desert. But we can't get inside with him standing there. Go beat him up. Lose, and I'll have an extra serving of punishment ready just for you. I mean, I think I'd be dead if I lose, so... A cactus wolf suddenly attacked. This sure is <laughs> a desert wolf with a cactus on his head. <laughs> Monkey mimic. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can make you laugh. Well, I have to admit, the cactus vulf looks like a prickly character. Hey yo, no one was amused. No, he did a cactus headbutt. That makes sense. Let's do a little dance. I'm faster now. That's not. That's not really what I need. Apologize. Salsa's feelings didn't get through to the cactus wolf. No. The sun hit Salsa's shadow. Oh god, I don't have any healing. Damn.
Hmm, I don't remember if anything dropped healing items. Happy. Something must have. Yeah, no, we definitely had nut bread from something. Yo, do you drop anything, you fucking weirdo? Sada sada s some sada s not some sada. <laughs> Sahada. Dunny be Dooney beam? Uh oh. I'm dizzy. Oh, excellent. Level up. That should hopefully help. And I am dizzy, so I am moving backwards. Beetle. I snuck up on the dung beetle from behind. Wait, you can see his little face from behind. I guess it's normally attacking you backwards. Oh, I got some poopy. That's right. They just dropped poopy that that one guy can take. I gotta get at least one healing item. God, these guys are still so cute. <gasps> the sand lizard is lost in dance. He's so freaking cute. I figure either I'll get a healing item or I'll die. And, you know, at least I got some exp. Falls a dodge quickly. Make laugh. This guy looks like he's ready to laugh. It's cheering! Yeah, get out of here. Healing, please! It's so lizard! So flat fuck Friday! One. Inside the present, there was some nut bread. Hey, finally. <laughs> flat, flat fuck foos day. <laughs> yeah, this is their butt that they attack you via. It's diligently rolling its dung. You can buy. Got the poopy. I don't even remember where the guy you trade the poopy to is. Oh my gosh, so much poopy. We, we gotta go back to that guy and trade it. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, thank you. It's a poo poo paradise. Uh, uh, da 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 Reveal the baby. Ooh. I do like how Facade, you know, like crouches down with me to do a run. No, no, there's that, that dung beetle we can trade it to. I think for healing items. I don't remember exactly though. Oh no, it was just for exp. Then maybe. Salsa's hands are sticky now. Gross! I thought maybe I could throw it. Yeah, and how much do these guys give? 27. Okay, so it's not worth going back to trade them. <laughs> Gross. Why can't I fling a poopy like the cool guy in, in Sekiro? Doki. That's true, that's true. Yeah, because right now I'm going to enter in an even worse position than last time, even with the healing item. So let's go. This fucking guy. Oh, 
Get out of here. We like it was up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <gasps> There's cold, clean water here, but it smells kind of dung like. Drink some. It's also felt much better. Okay, you can, you can still drink it to heal. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no. 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 Not... Not the most efficient. Yeah, I, I feel like one some dung is worse than facade. Wait, did that one actually give me 50 exp? Oh, maybe because it was like one he actually particularly liked? The water seems a bit putrid. <laughs> the one some dung eater. <laughs> Treasure. Beef jerky. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Now we must w make our way back there. No, thank you, everyone. No, thank you. Don't mind me. No! Snuck up from behind. So sneaky. One damage. Nut bread. Oh my god, you can slip on it. And I showed my little monkey butt. I see you have to be running. Yeah, I would be surprised if Earthbound Guy and Tulip Guy weren't, like, mutually respecting contemporaries or whatever. They feel like they would get along creatively. <laughs> also, hey, Lazy. Fuck. Two of them. Sahara, Sahara, Sahara is just going with the flow. I'm Dizby. Dizby. I'm amazed I was able to do that. <laughs> yeah, the monkey salsa because you know in Japanese, uh, monkey is Saru, and and so is Saruza. It's a very good name. Onkoro Tsutai. What? Wait, are- is there like a specific type of Thailand dung beetle? Like is that an actual subspecies of dung beetle? I wouldn't fucking know. Where's Crackly? I'm sure Crackly is very well versed in all local <laughs> dung beetles. A cactus will suddenly attack. All right. Dunce. My offense increase. He bite. I monkey mimic. You did a cactus headbutt? I do a cactus headbutt. Not the best. Nut bread. There's a dung beetle and the translator is reading Thai as Thailand. Unkoro... Unkorogashi. Unkorogashi. Oh, she Thai! Yeah, no, yeah, it's I want to roll the, the dung. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see. 
So yeah, it, it's just a Japanese pun. Let's roll up to make a simple poop in the sky. I I thought I would be able to to get a heal off. I don't know why. I forget that when you have low when you have small small HP, your your HP goes down very fast. Very happy despite dying. Okay, well I have I have maximum health now and a beef jerk. Wait, here, am I, like, super close to leveling up by chance? Next level, 90. No, I am not. So fuck it. It is cruel that you stop running if you accidentally bump into something. Alright, fucker. Bumps. No visible effects! How could you? Okay, speed decreased. That's not that big of a deal. My defense increased. There we go. It's really just like a survival game. <laughs> Offense decreased. Yes. He's uttering a low growl. <gasps> what? It said he switched. I did a, a extra attack of two. Shut up, Blazy. <laughs> Defense decreased. Chompa. <laughs> I still only do one damage. Please, you have to finish him off. <gasps> Use Lord into dancing. Yeah. My speed increase. Doesn't really matter. Come on. This is unreasonable. Wow, I did a whole six damage now. I know, how much did they expect you to grind before fighting this guy? Oh, thank goodness! Cactus Wolf became tame. He won. Got those close. 143 exp. I'm level 9 now. In the present, there was some beef jerky. Whew. Salsa is just a little monk and cannot change this. Get in, you! He's simply little monkey. Wow. <gasps> we went in the out one. We're true villains. Bug spray. Okay, duly noted. As needed. You snuck up on a violent road from behind. Look at it. <laughs> Shaking his fist. Obviously, I'm going to save the bug spray for hopefully, like, a more powerful bug. Sup, Violent Roach. Oh! No! That's fine. <laughs> yeah, mechanically, he's one of the most helpful that guys. That just went in the outdoor. He's a criminal. Arrest him right now. No, no. This is actually kind of fine, you know, like, it, it, now I'm healed up and we don't have to worry about the doggy. Whoops. Actually, wait, I should take my jacket off. Ooh, it's so hot in this desert. Now we're nice and cool, cool. Very sexy.
Viewership is stagnated. I need to be hotter, sexier, just cooler in general. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> Can you handle this? Look at all this neck. Very sexy. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> That's true, I can never be as sexy as Garfellini. No wait, Mellowfield. That was her name. Please respect canon. <laughs> I'm so excited. Sane's Sane's model is almost completely done. Though though she's gonna make a, a jacket so we can add that. But I'm excited for her to use it. Yeah, 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 the holiday. Oh. Pig. Hey, stupid monkey, look here. This is a high tech vehicle known as a pork bean. <laughs> We're going to take it to an unbelievably uncivilized village called Tasmili. It would take an incredibly long time to get there on foot. But with this pork bean, we'll get there in the blink of a... Oh, so this was all... This was all in the past. You get all that? Yeah. Use that ladder to get down there. This is a wonderful device called an instant revitalizing machine. In only a few seconds, it'll fully revitalize you, just like a good night's sleep. Under normal circumstances, it'd be wasted on a stupid monkey like you, but I'll give you special permission to use it for now. But you're still hungry. <laughs> yes, he introduced capitalism, the evil of capitalism, to our little village. Beef jerky. Yeah. But why? Ancient banana. Ancient banana. How's an enemy to slip and fall? Inflicting damage. He knows how to use it with the power of monkey. Give my regards to the next frog you beat. And he let us keep it because it's ancient. Hey, don't get in yet, you stupid monkey. I'm just going left, dude. Alright, listen up. When you want to stop the pork bean while it's moving, press the B button. While it's stopped, press the B button again to get out. You get all that? Yeah. Then get in. What if I go over here? What if I go over here instead? Oh, oh, is this like... So it's like fast travel between certain points? Hmm. That's a good point. Why is why is Monkey driving? Why does he let Monkey drive? Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at this fucking thing! I love this thing! Holy shit! Holy shit! I love it! I love this thing! Holy shit! Oh! Oh shit! But there's enemies here. I could theoretically like fight them or whatever if I wanted to. For expert stuff. Oh my god, oh my god, look at my little guy go! What? Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! This is cool! Nyong, nyong. where I want to be. I don't even know. <gasps> Stuff, though. Running bomb. Please refrain from throwing running bombs while indoors. It makes things all smoky. There's vents. Jesus! A gooey goo and his cohorts block the way. I'm a do dance. When in doubt, I do dance. The gooey goo sprayed digestive fluids. This might be bad. I'm just a little monkey. I'm, I'm just an innocent little monkey. And he cannot one-shot them? That is an issue. 
I'm gonna eat one beef jerk. But I shan't eat another. If Malobo ever hears about the pork bean, we'll never hear the end of it. Mother, can I have a pork bean? Sticky goo. That checks out. Yeah, we're fucked. Oh! Well, wait then. Well, wait then. Yeah, she's not dissimilar. I wish I knew what they're... Like, I feel like it's probably like, but, 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 but. I'm not quite... Whoa. But it failed. Okay. If nothing else, we shall get that exp. And I'm level 10 now. Then we left a present. Inside the present, there was a mosquito charm. <laughs> Why are all the charms named after bugs? Bam. I want that present. Oh, they roll. Dango mushi. Bug spray. Don't mind me, little guys. On. To the south of the cemetery is a village. There's a place there called the Yado Inn where we can stay the night. That's where we're headed now. Oh, I, I wanted to see because I remember it having a description that I feel like maybe hinted at the fact that it was like this. Like it's wobbly or something. Zombie. No zombies! Monkey, monkey, monkey. We go... Whoop. Oh, I thought I was the, the guy who gave this guy gold, but he already has it. What's going on here? Why, hello there. What do you think of the wonderful bag I gave you? Is it to your liking? Oh, it's you, Mr. Rosad. Okay, so I have been here before. So maybe this isn't the past. Don't scare me like that. Actually, I was just counting to see how much is in here. Oh, ha ha. Just please be extra careful that it doesn't get swiped by any thieves. But we saw Facade at some point in one of the cutscenes arrive with Monkey. Yeah, so this is, like, to some degree in the past, but not as in the past as I thought. Wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, pardon me, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry, if you'll excuse us. Come now, little monkey, we should be off. We look so alike. He is my father. See you soon, Papa. Check out this bag. What do you think's inside? Money. There's money inside. Ever heard of money? What? You don't know what money is? Actually, I'm not really that sure, sure either. After all, we've never had it in Tasmili before, but apparently an era of money is about to start. Huh? What's an era of money? Huh? Oh, a traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a real liking to my pigs, and then he asked me in tears if I'd trade them for this. It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm gonna hide in as well here. Duster, the secret is just between you and me. Nwe. <laughs> He specifically gave to, it to that guy because he knew he'd be enough of a dead shit to hide it in the middle of town. Oh, I obtained the money, but I did put it back. Mm hmm. Yado. 
This is Tasmili Village. Everyone is nice. This village was much more carefree until just recently. Not everyone here is nice. Fucking Duster's dad wasn't nice. Fuck that guy. Saruza. Just be careful out there. What, this poor fucking monkey. How much is the lodging fee, my good man? Oh, uh, what? There is no how much here. Please feel free to stay the night. So then, wait. <laughs> but they, she seems to have a conception of what I'm asking. <laughs> oh, I see. Still. It's hardly a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, I guess it's okay then. I'll kindly accept your offer. I suppose it could make a good doorstop. <laughs> your room is the one in the middle. Please make yourself at home and have pleasant dreams. Thank you very much. Come, little Salsa. Where's your thank you? Oh, oh. Fucking oops. Eee, how cute. Well then, if you'll excuse us. Let's go to the room, shall we? That's true, that's true. I love this fucking nervous ass guy. You're going to work hard for me starting tomorrow. No, go to sleep. The thing is like metal, oh no. Metal is quite valuable, you know, even if it was in a strange form. I got my little monkey butt. I am free. No problem here. No problems here at all. I'm funky fresh. <laughs> there might be a problem here. Some problems here. You've arrived at Osohe Castle? Good. Wait. Oh, oh, I guess he, he's on the call with someone's secret. You've arrived at Osohe Castle? Good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. <gasps> they just want the eggy. What? You saw someone else hanging around the castle? That's it? You only saw him? Then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp? I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum. Yeah, don't worry about him. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, okay, I leave it in your hands. Stay alert. <laughs> Looked like a real piece of shit. Everyone's always dragging poor Duster. What the fuck? No, did you think? I'm just coming over. You could run away from me. I'm running in your direction, asshole. That's why. You're such a stupid monkey. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to your room and sleep. I did forget about that mechanic, though. Don't bother me anymore. What's with that look? Laugh. Who told you to do a backflip? God damn it. But you know, if you were going to run away, I'm sure there were some more intelligent ways you could have done it. Like trying to disguise yourself or trying to walk with, <laughs> without making any sound. But I guess monkeys just aren't intelligent enough for things like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, monkey is not forgotten about girlfriend. And also apparently the zap you anywhere device. She's very asleep. So sleep. 
I have not forgotten this game. You don't need to remind me. You don't need to remind me of the sorrow. It's horrible. I just, I just reached back to grab my can of energy drink and I was like, damn, it's heavy. How much energy drink was left in here? But it was a can of carpet cleaner instead that I grabbed. I cannot drink it. How long are you going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep doing your tricks all happy like. Prance around all nice and funny to help charm the villagers. Do a good job and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to that girly monkey. Why is any of this necessary? <laughs> but if you bore the audience, You'll get an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? I'll go. You be careful out there. I'm gonna do a real good job. And I'm sure he will be true to his word. Very trustworthy man. Lighter in fuel. I remembered this time. Come, gather round. Come, one and all, fair denizens of Tasmili. Congratulations are in order for the hard work you put in every single day. I've come here today to give you all wonderful news about happiness. Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families, and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. But there's still something missing. A tiny speck of uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. Odd animals that have never been seen before now lurk in our forests and giant balloon-like objects soar our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we live in? And that's not all. Not by a long shot. The word on the wind says that in the very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and woods will rain down on us almost daily. Oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, get real, something like that would never happen. But I truly believe this soon will be reality. And in times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? This is a weird thing to combo with a dancing monkey. But I have good news for you. Today is your lucky day. <laughs> good sprite. What the fuck? Oh, I guess I should have gone up. You can obtain happiness very easily. Just look here. Even my cute adorable Salsa is dancing so happily. The reason for this, you see, is that Monkey has gotten a head start on obtaining happiness. I see, I see. Oh no, no. How exactly did little Salsa here manage to find happiness? All those who are interested, please raise your hand boisterously. Who wants to be happy? Okay, little Salsa, go and ask the nice people who want to be <laughs> who want happiness for their names. Please keep your hands raised, folks. I'm scared. I'm Abby. I respect my husband, Abbott. There's nothing bad about having too much happiness, is there? I'm Biff. I'm not really sure what this is about, but if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. Biff and Abby. Abby and Biff. I'm Isaac. I just want to see if it really is that easy to be happy. Isaac, Abby, and Biff. Happiness leaves when wanted. My name is Abbott. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just collecting stuff is somehow makes me happy. Plus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too. Okay, Isaac, Abbott, and Abby, and Biff. Everyone, if even just one more of us can achieve happiness, I will be right in the world. For those of you who didn't raise your hand, please think it over later. And if you decide that you do want happiness after all, feel free to let me know any time. Well, that's all for today's show. May happiness come to this village. Oops! That's true, that's true. Take care. 
Now then, come along, little salsa. Let us return to Yado Inn. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's me. What is it? Did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle? Why can't you just kick them out? What? You can't because they're too tough? All right. I'll be right over once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. All right, monkey, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden in the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Ab Abby, Biff, Isaac, those four people. Where do they live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. And when you finish delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. You'll come straight back to this room. If you can't do it in under 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more than charred if that happens. If you try to run from me or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got it? Yes. Rude. Unnecessary. Then get to it already. If you can finish delivering them in under 22 minutes, I'll give you a banana or something. I'm making this offer from the kindness of my heart because I feel just terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. Oh, so be grateful. Yeah. I mean, I've eaten a lot of jerky and shit, though, so joke's on him. Okay, so I guess this is actually timed. I don't know where the fuck anyone lives. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. That's true. I drink both clean and poopy water. I'm just checking. Okay, so those guys are here. He said they're in the graveyard. Yeah. South West Sunshine Forest. Oh, that's right. Monkey. Monkey run. Oh. Those are easy to find. Got a happy box. Please tell me it's just not one at a time. Oh, Jesus. If you need something from the map-loving, map-owning maps, then there must be a map, yes? Oh, you're a monkey, but you do have a map. For some reason, I'm just itching to mark it. Let me see for a second. Oh, can you help me? Your map's been marked. Circled some shit. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mapson. Okay. So, so someone is somewhere around here. <laughs> Her sassy look. That's right, Sebastian. Sebastian. The fact that you marked the map will make this a lot more doable. Doggy. Oh! Oh wow, so this is a happy box, huh? This is great, a happy box. Thanks, monkey. Give the happy box to Abbott. Oh, you ordered one too, Abbott? I guess we don't need two, do we? I'll cancel my order then. Sorry to bother you. Only two more to go. What? Also, it seems to be a TV, a pink TV. The porky TV. But there's, there's no way that my... That facade is fine with that. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Alright, if you say so, game. I know, seriously. Alright, so then we, we gotta go left and up. Okay. I was just checking that there's no dash. There is none. When you are heavy, heavy box... We have to go down one more, right? No. Hey, we're delivering happiness boxes for facade to, to certain villagers, which seem to contain a pink TV, but it's part of some kind of plot. 
Oh, that's right. I think Isaac's house was the one that the Afro guy was trying to get into. Enemies are here. No. Oh yeah, hopefully I'm still OP since I'm Yeah, I'm I'm a higher level than my guys were when they went through here, at least. This house, I think mean, this is it. Yeah. According to Shikasato Itoi, they're not TVs. What? That feels like you're you're spoiling that like nothing else is gonna happen with them? Will this thing really bring me happiness? I mean, that's clearly a fucking it's monitor or TV of some kind. I mean, give me a break. <laughs> happy box they're not you're not really sure what to make of it in the mouth damn it yeah ito you're a liar oh yeah give me some cheese Damn. This mouse is fucking bullying me. Oh my God. Die. But yeah, if there's like word of God, it's like those aren't the thing that we made them look like. I, I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> like, why would you even say that? Are you a healing item? Not bread. go south I think we're making fine time perhaps I shall get banana there I go ever since uh we were playing stardew and hempoli was like I'm kind of surprised that you have opinions on pixel art because you don't seem like a pixel art person I'm like shit now I want to try making some pixel art I want to try making some pixel art why must I have so many actual things I need to do oh shit mm. shut up gumpy liar Hell yeah. Been 89 years. Oh, thanks a bunch. Now I can be happy too. For some reason, I actually do feel happy. Give the happy box to Biff. Well, this is a fan translation, Darkness. You finished delivering happy boxes to everyone who wanted one. Ooh, yeah, Pixel Taro. Pixel Tabo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 
Are we turning? No way. Wait, I was planning to give you a special banana if you had delivered them all in under three minutes. But I guess you don't really want one. You insult little monkey. <laughs> hey, you. How long are you going to stay unconscious, stupid monkey? Son of a bitch. All right, let's hurry to Osohe Castle. So does that happen no matter what? I see. It's a fakes. That is cruel. It's gotta go north. Cruel man, cruel game. <laughs> no, look, facade didn't make the time element fake, the game did. Are you talking about fucking uh, Agretzko? The ever disappointing Agretzko? What's going on? Did you find it? What? You still haven't found it? Just who are these other intruders? An old man and a guy with a gloomy... Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't say this... Like, it's not like, oh man, the monkey just can't get himself to leave his abuser. <laughs> this is... He's just a villain. An old man and a guy with a gloomy feel about him? Wait, you mean him? The guy with brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and looks kind of like a bum? So, where are they now? What? And they're headed to the top floor? You fools! Whatever you do, do not let them get there first. Ruhi, buhi! Okay. She's just a little lady. Sleepy little lady. Just taking a soothing bath with my abusive master. Looking him deep in the eyes. Wait. Whoop. Save. Will you be careful out there? Give my regards to the next frog you meet. What the, what the, what this, what this? Little Robo Friend. Oh yeah, I guess I can just talk to these guys. Two suits of armor suddenly attacked me out of nowhere. Even though I'm super skilled, they clearly had the upper hand, but I managed to destroy them when I unleashed my special <laughs> spicy knuckle attack. That bum-looking guy in his cohort beat me something slow, slow. Haha. <laughs> We're currently using every resource available to us to locate it, but it still hasn't turned up. Hold on, pipsqueak monkey. I'm not talking to you. There was some sassy ghost here earlier living a lively party. We've used the power of science to stick them all back in. <laughs> To stick them all in the back room for now. Back room. That bum looking guy and his cohort headed upstairs after they beat the snot out of us. Only now do I realize that these are truly a force to be reckoned with. Well, in this case, I think Agretzko was kind of doomed from the get go. Bah, a dead end. All right, monkey, let's look elsewhere. Because, you know, it's, it's a thing about. The pain of work life, but made by fucking Sanrio. <laughs> you know, a corporation. 
A ghost burped on me just now. For some reason, it smelled like rotten meatloaf. I don't care about finding this stupid item anymore. <laughs> I assume you mean like the second half? Because it was like a two, two core season, right? Hmm. Ghosts. Lots of ghosts. First a bum looking man, and now a monkey. I found a new interest in the power of science. Never mind that I'm a ghost. Even if it's to a monkey, I'll say it anyway. Here's my secret hint. Gift boxes with blue ribbons have great things in them. Maps. It'd be useful to remember that. Oh, me so thirst. Thirsty. Thirsty. Oh, was that the one that was uh, drinking the wine earlier? Thank you for the raid, level one cleric. Oh. A real-life monkey. Is the person behind you one of those spirits that follow you wherever you go? What? <laughs> Excuse me, all ghosts. No, there's many problems here. You're wrong, game. You're wrong. Oh. Yeah. What? They fled into the basement. They have it with them? All right, got it. Well, I, I wanted to just let him cook. Hey, monkey, we're heading into the basement now. There should be an entrance to the basement somewhere inside this castle. Find it. The lamp. Find them. All the poor paintings falling down. Please be careful out there. No going that way. Wait, it's not a Cinder joke, it's a Salem joke. And why, did something happen? How do you know that way doesn't lead to the basement, asshole? I guess we probably should go here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's very mean to the monkey. Oh, you're saying that, that Cinder had a similar relationship with Salem as my monkey does to this guy? In some ways, yes. But only for, like, that one episode. Alright, we go through here. Hey, stupid monkey, do something to open it. I can dance. Don't be an eyesore! Oh god. Oh, that's right, she did also have a shock collar. I forgot about that part. Uh oh. Well. God damn it. You sure you're doing the dance right? Oh no, man. Okay, so they're all wrong. An odd dance is depicted here. Oh! Learn the Osohe dance part C. There we go. Yeah, it seems like if they wanted to, like, protect their ancient things, maybe they shouldn't have, like, put it, uh, the instructions right there. Like, right there. Oh, this is probably not very good. I, I need to I need to give, give her this guy. 
I'm not as high level as my other party members. Okay. Not cookie. Okay. How do I know which is which? Oh, hopefully that's just the whole thing. Oh my goodness. Good job, monkey. Oh, well done. All right, here's your reward. Soon. Your time will come soon, fucker. Come on. Let's get going. Pilly. I'm not a ghost. I'm a frog. Save your game. <laughs> I mean, you can be both. God, yeah, there's so much animation. There's so much animation in this game. Pisces bracelet. Heck yeah. Salt is very good. A cheery skeleton blocked the way. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> My feelings didn't get through to him. Through bone. What what about if I like make you lay ya? Cheery skeleton is cheering. Are you having a good time? <laughs> it has the butt. Holy shit. I see it's related to the other one. A little big bro suddenly attacks. Oh, God is horrifying. Okay, I was able to distract it though. I'm trying. I'm trying to kill it. Offense decreased. It lost interest. And attacked with a kick. Attacked with a kick. I attack you with a kick. Get him out of here. Unfortunately, we don't have the beetle to make him turn around so we can see his his juicy ass. Got some beef jerky. Does that mix up for the beef jerky I just ate? Oh, it's locked. <laughs> God. Speed decrease. That's not what I need. Make laugh. Okay. Dunce. My offense increased. Lost interest. Bum rush. Go finish him. Yeah. The face makes you think of that um, unflattering portrait of one of the animators that they would put on various things in Adventure Time. Like the cow's udder and stuff. More beef jerky. <laughs> they knew that this this part was bullshit. Put that bag back on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Huh? What's this lever for? Hey, 
pull this lever. Yes. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> Ricardio, similar vibe. Wah! Um, they fled into the waterway. What? They escaped with the item? After them! After them, after them, after them! Go after them! No, wait, they're inside. Corner them, is what I said. Contact me the instant you find them. Bah! There's not a single useful person here. Let's return to the Yato Inn for now. What? <laughs> no one here can do it right. They're complete fuck-ups. Let's leave it to them. Ricardio was fun when he was only in one episode. And then I, I remember him coming back. Whatever. But... Nom 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 nom. Not cookie. George Decay. I keep trying to avoid them, they're like like they're gonna attack me. Blue ones. What are you doing? What of you two get out of my way? Hey, you heard Mr. Facade. Fall back. He was looking at you when he said it. You fall back. Shut up! I don't give a damn about any of that. Both of you get out of my way now. Boo -hee. Just look how late it is now. You're so stupid. It's all your fault, you idiot. He was looking at you when he said that. So you're the idiot, you idiot. I know you are, but what am I? You idiot. Both of you idiots, go find them now. <laughs> Meanwhile, we'll go eepy. I'm a sleepy boy. It is really fun to just see him running after me like that. Like imagining this evil guy just running after me like hoop -ba -doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Oh. Besides, I bet you were the one who let Duster get away in the first place. That's right, Duster's missing. I have done no such thing, nor would I have any need to. My goodness, I simply can't believe that someone would steal the money I so humbly gave you. Perhaps it's true then. Perhaps this village really is starting to become cursed. We can't allow Tasmili Village to become a dismal hive for evildoers to run amok. We must all seek happiness, or this village will be in grave danger. Oh, what's this? Are you fond of the nice lady there? Come now. I'll give you lots and lots of luxury bananas later, so let us return to the Yato Inn. <laughs> luxury banana. <laughs> okay, little Salsa. She can sense fucked up vibes. This monkey must be saved. I'm sorry, babies. I have to adjust my feet a bit. I'm sorry. Hey, stupid monkey. Is it silly? It seems you still don't understand the situation you're in. If you ever disobey me or try any funny business in the slightest, I'll make sure your beloved girly monkey winds up in some serious trouble. Remember that. I know, dude. I've done such a good, 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 good,
Good, good job. Now go to sleep. I do like the idea that he just like doesn't know how to use a bed properly for some reason. Oh, our poor monkey. Poor monkey. Hey, little monkey. Why is his fur all burned? My monkey in danger sense is tingling. Yeah, she's got like foster mama senses like me. Hey, hey, monkey. Hey, 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 hey. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. Motherfuck. He turned over in his sleep. Damn. Hmm. How do you deal with a feral mama that's learned going in and out of a trap without tripping it? Um, it depends. Uh, like, you, you can try to hide the trap better. Uh, I mean, the, the trigger mechanism a bit better. Or, like, spread the food a little more around the trap so that, so that she hopefully doesn't realize exactly where it is while trying to get the, the food. Hey, monkey, we're here to rescue you. <laughs> Look at the way that they're, like, framed. The cheap bastard's asleep. Hurry here. But my monkey girlfriend. My girlfriend, though. She carried her kittens out of the trap without setting it off? What the fuck? You might need to try a different kind of trap then. That's nuts. That is high level shit. You're safe now. Don't know how you got involved with that light spoon fraud, but you must have had your reasons, I guess. Poor little thing. Princess, this is a great deed you've done. Now let's find that lazy moron, I mean Duster, and that egg he has with him. I know he's all right. Morons like him never get sick or hurt no matter where they go or what they do. Yeah. Yeah, we just gotta find Duster and the egg. But first, let's free this monkey. Get the collar off. Geezer, go steal that zapper gizmo while that lion the freak's still asleep. used wall staples. The trap was pinned to the ground. No. Oh, right. I should have swiped it earlier. I'll be right back. You'll be free in a minute, monkey. You must have had it rough. I like how they they were like, oh, I don't know why you got involved with this guy, but they know I have a evil shock collar on also. <laughs> hey, monkey, I stole the doohickey. <laughs> I accidentally bumped in on the way back. Did it zap you? Sorry about that. Jackass. Oh my god, cricket face. No. No. Little cricket voice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now what are you doing? Wanna come be in my lap? Thank you for the raid, ARP. One, zero, three, three. Oh, it might be time for... Lapel cam. They're screaming.
You want some more nut? Also, one of you smells stinky like you not, might need a poop. But I no longer help you with that. You're both being idiots. Yeah? Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know it's total bullshit, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. You want some? You've got, like, your claw in my nail bed? Okay. What do you want from life? Like you would rather fight me. Do you want milk or not? She seems to be very confused on exactly what she wants. Here, wait. Is, is it that you need to go poopy to? Here. Lightly eat the baby. It, it, it is around that time, and I need to give them more opportunities to try eating. I've left them alone with the food, and I've done the thing where I've like tried to push their face into soft food, but they have not yet understood it. No, I am not doing poop massage anymore. They are big babies. They can poop on them by themselves. This is good music for, for feeding kitten. Well, you want? You barely got any. This is incredibly inefficient. so bad at this. Shameful. Here, monkey, you destroy it. Oh my god, monkey, monkey, step on it. But it shocked him, but now it is wrecked. Alright, monkey, you can go wherever you want now. You're free. They don't know about my monkey girlfriend. Bitches don't know about my monkey girlfriend. <laughs> you got something keeping you from running away? What is it? Oh, your girlfriend's been kidnapped? <gasps> or monkey napped, I should say? <laughs> Damn, that cheap bastard. He's screwed up. Oh, did you call from me? I happen to be that screwed up cheap bastard you speak of. I think, yeah, I think maybe she's psychic because she's like the super special princess. Oh, oh yeah, and we know she has PK. To think it, I would get to meet you here of all places, Princess Kumatora. Nuehehe. I love the monkey's little face just staring up at him like, I have friends now. We will destroy you. <laughs> Did you think you could get away from me? He can. And we're going to let him. 
Easier, monkey, you ready? One, two, three. This is when we run. Got it? Damn, they're fast. <laughs> Why does her mouth always look like it's dripping? <laughs> After them, don't let them escape. They're headed your way. I see. Then remain on standby. I'll be there shortly. How dare. <laughs> There's no escape from me. <laughs> oh yeah, well if you're unfamiliar, Japanese doesn't really have like cuss words per se. So I assume it's the fan translators like getting r across the general vibe that she speaks rudely in a way that you like wouldn't expect of a princess, you know? So, and, and since they're not Nintendo, they're allowed to just put in swears that a, a rude young lady would actually use. Let's escape into the forest. Kumatora, join your party. Let's join your party. Well, yeah, but I, I assume if Nintendo localized this, they wouldn't have her cuss. It feels like the kind of game they wouldn't put cussing in. I'm the leader. It's my party. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Yeah, it's too bad about Wes being here. He's not even a real party member. The nice thing about having a monkey in the lead is that mute main character syndrome doesn't have any noticeable effect here. <laughs> That's true. A pig mask trapped you. Well, easy, like someone said, there, there's like fire emblem and stuff, in which I guess you can cuss. And Xenoblade. But I haven't played Xenoblade, so I don't know how much cussing there is in that. Fran would definitely cuss. I need that dog back for the sniff thing. Bag of pork chips. I feel like, I feel like in Splatoon they might say stuff like damn. Sunday Forest ahead. Beware of poisonous snakes. They fight me now. You encountered a recon mech and its cohort. They look a little more mysterious like this. Oh, I guess they're supposed to have like piggy faces. Well, yeah, but they're not going to let you see them. Matora leveled up. There's no response to our shouting. That doesn't leave us with many options. Hop, oh, save your game. Please be careful out there. Them all doing the, like, pre-run pose is cute and silly. DK. Donkey Kong. DK. Donkey Kong is here. For some reason, Kumatora started to feel feverish. Hell yeah! Oh right, I can't run when she's like that. Mm 
What you learning, Kumatora? What you learning? Damn, no luck here either. Oh, damn, no luck here either. Is our only choice to go back now? No. No, nope, run. We're trapped. We're surrounded. It's attacking. Yeah, Bear Tiger doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. A pork tank suddenly attacks. Pork tank. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna assume PK Thunder is good for you. I'm a mimic, yeah. Oh, I can't do it if he Liberals targets someone want else. You to get vaccinated, but what they don't tell you is getting sick gives you cool psychic powers. Hell yeah. Well, I don't think Kumatora is like, um, I might be wrong, but I feel like it's not supposed to be like, oh wait, I, did I even mimic that? I feel like it's not supposed to be like a believable normal name. I think it's supposed to be obviously like a name she gave herself as a cool nickname. Pain. I'm gonna try thundering. Socks didn't work. It vented its exhaust. Salsa can't stop crying, but Kumatora dodged quickly. Though I guess uh, Facade did call her Princess Kumatora, so maybe it really is just her name. Because I feel like he wouldn't respect her her chosen name, you know, if it wasn't what she was originally known by. Stop it. You're a bully. I'm going to use running bomb. Yeah, they tried to teach her, like, fancy dancing, and she was like, why the fuck did you name me Kumatora? If this was the result you wanted. Kind of want to use Ancient Banana. Wait, mm-mm-mm. I, I honestly forget, does Bug the Spray only work on bugs? Or is it just, like, a general attack item? Tink was wrecked. Saul's attacks. West attacks. The poor tank fired its cannon, but it jammed. Okay, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, right. Uh, we're, we're crying, so we miss. Do something that gets rid of that. Tears stopped. <gasps> Porting is lost in dance. Ha 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 
I assume it's more that the, the pilot probably is a Duna dance. Big Mask is coughing. Through a cannonball. That didn't look like a cannonball, that looked like a light rectangle. <laughs> oh, eat shit. The pork tank was destroyed. You won. Sal's and Company earned 624 experience points. Sal's level is now 14. <laughs> Kumator's level is now 16. Hell yeah, I gave him a little monkey kicks. Yeah, you get on. You get on out of here. No! Beat him up. Beat him up. Now then, Princess Kumatora, may I ask that you behave and do as we say? Lucas! Who are you? Get out of here, you stupid kid! Stupid kid! <gasps> Dougie? Oh my pork! What is a baby Drago doing here? You baby Drago, get out of here! Kill us! Kill us! Are we gonna get like a flashback playthrough of, of how Lucas is friends with Drago? Or, or you know... Got Drago to calm down being mad about his mama? <gasps> Other parent. Wreck him. Yeah! They understand they have a common enemy now. <laughs> Lucas with his like dead-eyed stare as he brings in his Drago friends is like very powerful. Oh my god, animation! Hey, get back here, you! Wreck em. No, stop! No, stop! Don't please! Ha ha ha! Feeling better now, monkey? Oh! Kill! Kill! Lucas, I heard that you've done nothing but cry since the day your mother passed away. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god, Wes, leave! Leave! <laughs> fucking leave! But what you did just now was wonderful. You saved our lives. Thank you, Lucas. All right, gotta say hi. Hi, nice to meet you, and thanks. You didn't even know what was going on, but you saved our lives. It's probably a little late for it now, but you should ask this geezer about what's going on. Also, monkey. Sure, I can fill you in on everything. Will you listen, Lucas? Yeah. Well, it goes like this. 
please don't replace me with a baby Drago TTS. I know what happens when a TTS buddy gets replaced. Oh my god, but imagine if the baby Drago was on my head. Like, just like it was on the mama or the papa, you, you know, like hanging on. And it went ba ba ba. Ba ba ba. It'd be so good. And that's everything that's happened. No, Lucas, you stay here in Tasmili. I'm certain Klaus will come back sooner or later. I'd like you and Flint and the others to work together to protect our village. Oh, I intend to help too, of course. What little I can, at least. Princess, I leave the monkey in your hands. Oh, and the search for that moron, too. Lucas, don't know why, but I somehow get the feeling I'll be seeing you again. Take care of yourself. Okay, monkey, let's go. Yeah, what's this fucking horrible? This we know. As Millie Village is now transforming exactly how the new newly come peddler had planned. Only a handful of villagers realize that things that were good and right are being tossed away one after the other. Although prosperity is increasing, an eerie darkness seems to be growing heavier over the village at the same time. However, within that darkness, a frail young boy grows ever stronger. Soon, Lucas will repaint this tale of sadness with a bright new color. The deeper the darkness, the brighter the sunrise at dawn. Kingdom Hearts. The once coddled Lucas is now on his way to becoming a brilliant young son. I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that has happened so far? Yeah. <gasps> the little babies. Oh, or maybe this was like yesterday. He's still with the baby. Fucking cry, baby. What's your fucking problem? Remember how cool this was? We want to show it again because it was totally bitchin'. Dun dun. Is it finally time to be a Lucas? No, we ain't close to the ending. Club Titty Boo. Yeah, wait, wait, we got taller. How long has it been? Three years later! That's Millie Village! Oh no, it's like that fucking... the guy in Tulip. They all go to work at a factory now. Ding dang. Without the truth to the eyes, the Tasmali folk were blind. Crazy. You can't say no problem here. There's so many fucking problems here. A machine for spinning wool. Everything here is problems. 
you planning to play in your pajamas? Sad. Sad. Wait. Depression nap. <laughs> but but where where would my big boy clothes be? Klaus's shoes and the scrap of cloth from Hinoa's dress are stored in here with care. Fireplace and firewood. Damn. No, yeah, th this feels so much... I'm like, Toriel's Cottage feels a lot like this. Even like the, the color space and stuff. You got the rocker by the fireplace and shit. Wild. Fucking wild. <laughs> they are shorn. <laughs> wild animals are afraid of lightning, but livestock are actually pretty okay with it. Oof, oof. I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. Walter, join your party. Yeah, people have cited Earthbound as an influence, but I feel like looking at this... It, 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 I mean, it's gotta be in there, too, obviously. <laughs> Lightning is scary. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I got Char Black. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even care that they got hit by lightning. Yeah, obviously he made that like Earthbound Halloween hack. But I, I, I don't feel like I've ever heard him talk specifically about Mother 3, but it feels very gotta be. Hey, you there, boy. I realize this might be a bit of a bother, but please come talk to me. I have very important information for you. Oh, good cricket. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. It'll be given in units called DP, Dragon Power. <laughs> well, I, I named him Walter on purpose. The, the suggested name was Boney, and I was like, that's horrible. And and so we named him Walter in, in honor of Walter. You can use DP in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. <gasps> It seems you've already earned 30 DP so far. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking to nearby frogs. Some frogs in special locations can't conduct DP transactions, though. Shall I explain that all again? Frog commerce. They demand their own currency, though. All right, then let's try it out. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? Oh, do you need something? Yeah. Do you need to save your game or perhaps transfer DP? EP stuff. Toby cited Mother 3 explicitly as direct inspiration. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, wait, I don't need to. You're holding out on saving, but I hope you're not holding out on using the bathroom, too. <laughs> Amazing. So I guess now I can lose DP, and that's why they let me save it like that if I die. What a wholesome classic story set up. A boy and his dog, and the boy's deep and unresolved trauma over the loss of his mother. No kidding. You must really love being unhappy if you still refuse to get a happy box after all this. So this is Taz Millie's famous lightning house? It really is incredible. It was definitely worth coming all the way here to see. Oh, did they just like zap my house to, to make people think that like they shouldn't trust us or whatever? This simple atmosphere, the smell of livestock and sea breezes. This is the only part of Tasmili that hasn't changed a bit in the past three years. I'm a little guy. I'm a little Lucas guy. I'm taller than before, but still a little guy. Oh yeah. Hmm. 
Thomas's shop, offering fascinating big city items faster and in greater quantities than anyone else. Things are different now. Don't forget to bring DP. Okay, so it is what they use. Do you think so much beauty would blossom up in only three years? Huh? What? Am I talking about myself? No, of course not. I'm talking about Tazmili. Get out my way. My dad is working over at the factory, so he left me in charge of the store. Would you like to buy something? Damn. Can't afford shit. Oh, wait, I have no DP. Did I actually store it all? The babies are probably like six weeks old or something. I didn't even mean to store it. I accidentally stored it. Fucking oops. He said it was holding out on storing it. I didn't hold out, just like with my pee pee. The Yato Inn had so much more warmth and friendliness up until three years ago. Yato. Welcome. You're a non staying guest, yes? The D DCMC band had as a bassist named Lucky. He seems a little bum like, but apparently he's a really good performer. Treasure. Trivia card one. A card with an obscure trivia question on it. Try using it on human enemies. <laughs> awesome. You're the type that just has to talk to everyone, aren't you? No, no, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think that's actually a very important thing to do. <laughs> well, thanks, dude. I hear they used to raise cows and pigs where the training facility to the southeast is now. Mr. Facade bought up all the land there. The happy box is giving off light of some sort. Oh, it's like a, a hypnosis television. Our Yato Inn has changed so much and gained on so many new customers ever since Mr. Facade came to town. They say this village had no happy boxes until three years ago. It did make me think about Joja. Don't make me think about Stardew right now. Now is not the time. He's ignoring you. He's ignoring you. Oh, hey there, Lucas. I hear your dad's still hiking up in the mountains looking for Klaus. You should really tell him yourself that it's about time he gave up already. <laughs> oh, hello there, Lucas. You look a bit down in the dumps. A happy box could really change your life, you know. Oh, Lucas, hi. Oh, that was the baby for before. Whenever I listen to Mr. Facade talk, I suddenly want everything. It's almost like he's a magician. <laughs> If you need something from the map-loving and map-owning Mapson, it must be a map, yes. I can talk about non-map stuff too, you know. Old Man West is definitely going to go bald. Yes, there's no doubt about it. Bald, definitely. <laughs> is there anyone here who puts money in this thing? Because I just did anyway. If you have any extra money, please put it in here. From your trustworthy and benevolent mayor pusher. Look at this fucker. Oh, Lucas, your house certainly enjoys being struck by lightning, I must say. Do you still intend to live in it after all the fires and scorching and whatnot? I must admit it's a real downer on Tasmilia Village's image. Oh, yes, yes, your maternal grandfather has moved into the new and shiny retirement home. Where is it? Across the way, that away. No. Oh, hello, Lucas. Don't bother Mr. Facade and the others too much now. Oh, hello. Well, if you'll excuse me, hurry, hurry, haste, haste. <laughs> Damn, he really do be on that grind. Oh, uh, uh, whoops, Sebastian. <gasps> busy, so busy. <laughs> it's like, before did he just enjoy being a butler? <laughs> he used to do it for the love, man. He had to because his name was Sebastian. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Carfrog! Oh my god, Carfrog! Oh 
be careful now. Oh my god. Car frog, car frog, car frog. Car frog. Look at him go. <laughs> Mamma mia. Amazing. Not right now. I don't need to spend my almost non existent money. Lightning struck Reggie's tent, but that's what he gets for not having a happy box. Oh, Lucas, welcome. Fuel's been helping out around the store lately. He's a real lifesaver. Oh, are you here to buy something? What can I get you? I remember earlier, bitch. Things come again. Potato like men are my type. I love helping people out. Potato like men are my type. I love a potat. Good on you, girl. This villager has a lot of lightning lately. Pay attention now. Let this be a lesson. Punishment falls upon the homes of all bad guys. Oh no, Reggie, not Reggie's home, oh no. <laughs> the lightning used to be Reggie's friend, but now this lightning is bad to Reggie. Out of the way, out of the way. God, you're annoying. Shoo kid, shoo get. Wanted, my generation. It appears to be an old concert poster put up by someone, but who? It's my generation, feel the rhythm proclamation. Please don't stare directly at me. It might make me want to arrest you. This village used to have no policemen at all. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> they arrest Dog! They arrest Doggy! Bow out! Looks like I've been arrested, but I actually came in here on my own. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not coming out. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, oh, I want to see the frog car plush. A C A B. Oh my god, it's very fucking good. Holy shit. Wait. Will that make it? Look at it. Oh, that is extremely fucking tempting. So, so, this site, whatever this site is, it sells shirts, sweaters, prints, pins, and frog in a cart. <laughs> it's its own category. Oh, what is this? Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. No, yeah, I'm extremely tempted. I'm bookmarking this for later. Good one. This item has been tested and it is in accordance with California Proposition 65 and USA CPSIA for the record. It's amazing. I think they really captured your true ferocious essence, Melon Boss. Thanks, dude. I got busted for larceny when all I did was pick up a doorknob I found on the ground. This isn't fair. Huh? Where's the doorknob now? How should I know? Maybe it was sent to the forensics lab or something? <laughs> Wait, is it the doorknob that that other guy took off our house? That's entrapment. You heard a reggae rhythm. Ah. <laughs> oh, amazing. Amazing. Mm 
Notice, beware of snack. Please refrain from practicing comedy routines in this area. Greetings, lumber people. Hmm. That was a very mysterious box. That woman over there, she keeps looking this way. I wonder if she likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Pig. When I just lie here like this, I can forget about all the bad things in life. <laughs> this suit-shaped swimsuit's pretty sweet, huh? They didn't have to leave a box of reggae out on the beach, but I appreciate that they did. That man over there, he keeps looking this way. I wonder if he likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Tum -tum. <laughs> Okie dokie. Need something? Or perhaps a transfer DP? I save. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. That pig sprite so good. These appear to be a pig mask's shoes. But the pig mask committed suicide. It walked into the ocean and left its shoes. Damn. I'm just waiting to see him like floating in a in a little swimming ring. <laughs> No way. I don't think that's it. How did the slander on that piggy? Oh, Lucas, do you still not have a happy box at home? I'll take your dog for a walk. You must really think you're some someone special. Seriously, you don't even work. Even kids are working at the factory nowadays, you know. Damn. I'll burn this house down. Boogie board. That's true. We we don't know if Tasmili is in Eagle Lands. There's something across the sea. Do you ever wonder about such things? Please call me anytime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It would probably be best if you didn't talk to me. Got that? No. Are you really sure? Everyone hates me, you know. They all say I talk too much and never shut up. Are you sure you don't want to turn back now? Don't turn back. Do you know what a trumpet is? I was actually thinking about learning how to play the trumpet, but I didn't. It's not that I was bad at it or anything. That's just how it was destined to be. Do you know what destiny is? Destiny. If you do, then that's cool. My destiny just didn't cross the destiny of trumpets, that's all. But thanks to my not taking up the trumpet, I can use the time I would have spent practicing it on other things. That's one way of looking at it. It's not like I'm doing something wrong here. Yeah, I'll start something else, and who knows, maybe it'll turn out well. Like, maybe I could start practicing the y Yano beat. You know what a Yanopi is? It's the proper term for a piano. What if I start practicing the Yanopi now and wind up being the greatest Yanopi ever, charming the hearts of men <laughs> the world over? Oh, y Yanopist. If that happens, it'd mean I was right about everything, wouldn't it? My fate still hasn't kissed the Yanopi's fate at a crosswalk just yet, but nobody knows what the future holds, not even mole crickets, water striders, or horned owls. Hey, you smile. Yes, you have a really cute smile, you know that? So anyway, basically... You should have turned back when you had the chance. Amazing. Nice scenery. How about some nice love? Please call me anytime. <laughs> amore. That's love. Love. That's amore. A couple on the other bench has really been lovey dovey dovey do lovey lovey dovey dovey for a while now, but they just won't leave. I wonder what their deal is. When are they finally gonna go have sex? A little guy is crying in my lap. Please call me. Hello. Hello. 
とき。I'm getting a crusty eye lately. Crusty eye. One drinky. Yes, yell at the bottle. That will accomplish things. Gotta hold hand. Billy, meanwhile, is still attacking the, the blanket on the floor. Booger eye. That's a pretty good sippy. Pretty good sippy. Specifically, get boogers in their right eyes. It's very mysterious. What are y'all doing with your right eyes? Gonna have to offer them some food later. I feel like she's forgetting how to freaking drink from a bottle. You can just let the camera run while I do other things. Might not be the be the worst for numbers. In the old days, we sent letters flying by- we sent letters by pigeon. Now look at how we do things. Oh no! The pig! Well, obviously you have to set a- set up a shit ton of cameras all over your house. Lucas got a dolphin ossicle. A fossilized ossicle of a dolphin. An ossicle is an ear bone. <laughs> Did you just fucking cr create an item in your game to well actually me about it? A dolphin ossicle. What? More people need to look at cats. Need to look at cats all the time.
Hell yeah, baby. I got this market on lock. Linda's over at the retirement home again, taking care of the senior citizens there. I wish she'd take care of me too. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Our happy cooling box is just handy dandy, so I'm thinking of buying a happy massage chair next. Don't you think it's about time you at least put a happy box in your home already? Oh, Lucas, are you so jealous of my happiness that you've come to see it for yourself? A happy teddy bear. Oh my goodness. Hello. Hello. Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Search trash can. Hopefully Shane won't see me. <laughs> this is the frog of the car. <laughs> it's car frog. The frog in a car. Let's see. Crossroad station is to the north, Cerulean Beach is to the west, and east of here is the nursing home for senior citizens. Oh, and to the south is your house where lightning keeps striking? Alright, I finally figured out this town's layout. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Wait, we, we should probably go visit the senior home then. Here's teeny tiny. Special nursing home for senior citizens, Old Man's Paradise. I haven't seen Flynn at all lately. How is he? I'm here visiting my grandma. We play games like pin the tail on the leak, hide and go sweep, and the hokey pokey. Having your grandchildren visit is a true cause for happiness. Oh, hello Lucas. Oh, and Walter too. Your grandfather is upstairs in the room on the far left. I know, I'm like, this is why we can never leave Grandma at a retirement home. <laughs> oh my god! Wheelchair frog! Rip it, rip it. Sh shave Social your game, commentary. Shani! Shave your game, Shani! Robert, Robert, don't you worry one bit. I may be old, but I'm still as good at shaving as ever. <laughs> oh, cry. oh, Lucas, how have you been? Lightning hit my mountain cabin a million times, making it impossible to live in anymore. <laughs> I know it's hard to imagine the lightning was trying to hit my house specifically, but come on, one million times? This is like a broken chain, like a shackle. Even has a lightning box, oh no. I mean, I guess he's, he, he doesn't seem to be complaining. It's fine that their, their doors are specifically like jail cell doors, that's fine. That facade guy has screwed everything up in every way possible. What is he trying to do to this village? This appears to be a mouse hole. It almost seems like a mouse could pop out at any moment. It fills you de with determination. Go, go! That's a fancy shirt you have. <laughs> Thank you. You, I don't care. So, wait, both of these guys are assholes, actually. So, like, have a nice retirement, bitches. Oh, Lucas, did you come all the way here to see me? Oh, okay. I was feeling lonely since my grandkids never come to see me. But since you were nice enough to come to see me, I'll give you a little spending money. It's not much, but here you go. Keep it a secret for my grandkids, though. Hell yeah, eat shit, grandkids. I can't keep burdening Lisa forever, but I do have a happy box and nice-bodied girls like Nan and Linda here to help keep me company. So I'm pretty happy in my own way. Yeah, ha, 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 ha. I'm sorry, Mike, but that so-called sexual har- Wait. I'm sorry, Mike, but that's called sexual harassment these days. Oh no. Oh no. 
This is a hard world we live in now. How disappointing. No, but it's like, yeah, there's like an implication that that's part of like the, the bad, you know, future that's been brought on by capitalism. Uh-oh, the 90s. They strike. Or wait, or was this early 2000s? <laughs> drip, drip, drip. From here. That's right. 2006. Um, bum, 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 bum. Bow, wow. I keep getting hit by lightning. Did someone find out I peed on that happy box or something? <laughs> oh no, someone did. Time really flies. It's almost been half a year since old Scamp passed away. I get the feeling it's rare for Scamps like him to be so easily forgotten. So in that sense, he's a great Scamp. Yeah, that's right. That old guy was there. The parrot. Squawk, squawk. I'm not stuffed. I'm alive. I'm plenty alive, dang nabbit. I, I, I wasn't accusing you. What the? This is our training facility. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? Blah. I ain't slacking off. I just collapsed from sunstroke. Blah. <laughs> oh, no. Roman. He seems to be captivated by the happy box. He is such the energy of that guy from WarioWare. This is named Jimmy T. Dangerous. I mean, not wrong. Wait, where is the... Oh, there. Oh, you guys want to join our army too? Then you gotta go eat lots and lots until you're nice and big first. What's your guy's problem? You look like you're trying to screw up our formation or something. The marching song seems to be coming from the cassette player. Hmm, <laughs> how should I put this? Saying things such as this may make me seem a tad rude and unsociable, and it's for that very reason that I do not prefer to say it aloud, but if absolutely forced to say what I want to say, I would say, get out of the damn way. Thanks, dude. Dun, 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 ba, dun, ba. Stroke, stroke, stroke! I'm Ro, the newest member of the Tasmili Boat Club. Aside from the fact that we don't have a boat, everything's going great. Stroke, stroke, stroke! <laughs> stroke, stroke, stroke! I'm Paddle, president of the Tasmili Boat Club. Aside from the fact that we don't have a boat, everything is going great. Nyong. Little sleepy Tilly. Frog car, frog car. Frog car, car, frog. Frog car, car, frog. Yeah, there was a three three year time skip and now we're Lucas. It's crazy. Obviously, we'll end soon, but I want to explore just a little bit. You're Lucas, right? I've heard rumors that you're a crybaby. You don't look like it to me, though. Damn, damn. I'm a police officer, yeah. I'm going to Club Titty Boo to check out DC, a DCMC concert. I wish work would end already. <gasps> What's correctly streaming? Train station. Oh, hell divers. Come on now, Jackie, get real. It can't possibly be him. But just think about it. No one's seen hide nor hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. Oh, now that's nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. There's this concert hall named Club Titty Boo past the factory, and the bass player there looks kind of like Duster. Jackie here is convinced he's Duster. But he looks just like him. I really think we should tell old man Wes. Maybe if we knew for sure, but we'd only wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. <laughs> the way he, like, moves as he talks. The guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that. Period. Anyway, time to head home and have some chow while I watch the happy box. 
You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving, too. Who said it's word of God that is not a TV or a monitor? Well, see you, Lucas. Till Flint I say hi. The train won't be coming for a while. No problem. That's especially wrong at the moment. I've only heard the rumors, but are you the ones who stock up on food and then walk around without ever eating it? You really do need to eat, you know. You're still young. I'll use my items. I've been doing better about that it lately. Jeez. Lucas opened the present. Beef jerky. I mean, I used to be that person, but not so much nowadays. Remember that really tall guy who used to hang around Crossroad? What was his name again? Beanstalk? Oh yeah! Anyway, he was actually so tall that he didn't stand out or seem out of place at all. I haven't seen him lately, though. Tasmili Central Message Board, read it. I say we remodel the old ruins of Osohe Castle and turn it into a Tasmili Resort facility. Anonymous. Read another. If you want to ride the train, go to the station. You can ride the train if you go to the station. The train speeds along. Along speeds the train. Let's go, go, go to the factory on the train. Train station attendants. <laughs> Read another. Is the lightning helping us? Thanks to the lightning, all the dirty old houses are being cleaned away. So in a way, the lightning is helping all of us. That's what I think from a popular citizen. <laughs> Happy boxes are the greatest. Now to develop even bigger screens. Abbott and Abby. I want to be a pig mask too. How can I be one? I, I know I can be a good one. Please let me be a pig mask. Also, I thought meatloaf is good. Well, goodbye, fried pork kid. After a hard day's work, there's only one thing to do. Spend every last DP you own at Club Titty Boo. Club Titty Boo is a paradise of music and other stuff too. Come see the DCMC in concert live. Club Titty Boo. I have sand in my shoes and I don't know what to do. Somebody do something, Nana. <laughs> Why not consider working at the retirement home? Veterans of life are waiting for your kindness. But please stop quitting one after the other. Retirement home director. Who in the world is later? Try as hard as I might, I just can't remember anything about him. It's keeping me up at night. Mike. <laughs> We've been slowly running out of friends at the castle lately. People of Tasmili, please pat pass away at a faster pace if you would be so kind. Thanks. Anonymous ghost. Notice, Scamp has died. That is all. Staff. Damn. Select cheerful police officers wanted. Start a new career as an officer of the Tasmili Police Force. Do well, and you could even make some pig mask friends. Pusher, Tasmili Police Department. Watch out for chimeras. Strange animals known as chimeras seem to be increasing in number lately. They are dangerous. Be careful of them. From a brave person. Show courtesy to Mr. Facade. There are many ignorant people who complain about him. I think that is a very bad thing to do. Tasmili is nothing without Mr. Facade. Please take this to heart. Isaac. Titty Boo News. <laughs> There's so much of this. DCMC to debut a new song soon? Desperado. Reckless. Crash. Powerful. Mambo. Sensational. Combo. Guys. No one can stop the DCMC's momentum now. Oh, oh, that, that's what DCMC stands for. I say we remodel the old ruins of those so okay. Oh, okay. Interesting. Hi there, I'm the friendly item deposit guy. If you have anything you don't need or don't want to carry around, I'll gladly hold on to you for free. I'll take good care of any items you give me, and I'll return them to you immediately whenever you want them back. Can I hold on to something for you? Ooh, okay. I don't know what dolphin ossicles are for. I'm always traveling to one place or another, so if you ever need anything, just let me know anytime. Wow, rude. You don't know that he's homeless. His home may be the road. I guess I should end here. But holy shit, I can't believe that was all a fucking prologue to, to, to the modern day adventure. It's crazy. 
This game's crazy and very interesting. Having a good time playing this game. What do you think about it, Tilly? What do you think about it, little Tilly? What do you think about it? What do you think about this game, Tilly? What do you think about this game? Mm. That's right. You need to all cheer on Crackly as she, as she wins dem for democracy against all those sassy robots. Oh, the baby. Oh, the baby. Here. Wait. First, make sure I have my state saved. Very safe. And then we will raid Crackly. About the friendly item deposit guy, Itoi made a sad song about a homeless guy he befriended in late 80s, and the item deposit dude is a reference to the same person. Oh, okay, well, I guess he is homeless then. Well, that answers that. Hasta mañana. Time to give credit card information to Frog in Car. Bong.